Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing of new day with a new hope O Lord. Thank you so much for your never-ending and unconditional love, to each and every one of us. As we continue to study thy word this morning, may you give us enough knowledge and wisdom to understand your message to us Lord. And please guide us with our doings and goings today O Lord. Please forgive our mistakes O God. This we ask in the most precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Drinking Poison Someone once said that holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. And oh, how true that is. Keeping all that bitterness and anger bottled up inside you won't hurt your enemy at all, but it will destroy you by robbing yourself of every ounce of happiness on this earth and in the earth to come, because you won't be there. The Bible says in Matthew 6, verses 14 through 15, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Nothing is worth missing out on heaven. Absolutely nothing. And certainly not something as miserable and oppressive as anger that just sucks the joy right out of your life. The only way to rid your soul of hatred and rage is to forgive. You might say, well, it's just not that easy. And the truth is, many times the hurt is so deep that it's just not humanly possible to forgive. But that's when you get on your knees and ask God to put his love and forgiveness in your heart for the person who caused you so much pain. You may not be able to love with your love, but you can love with God's love. So before drinking the poison, reach out to Jesus and allow him to remove all anger, bitterness, and revenge from your heart and choose God's gift of joy.